Yay! <laughs> Are we gonna get something for our homestead? to a doctor's appointment but I'm super excited to tell you guys that we're going to change the order of the first animals that we plan to bring to the homestead and we might be getting them today <laughs> get the not fun part out of the way first and then we will go to the store and pick up the first animals for our homestead. Hold on at the doctor's office and now we're gonna make the long trip to go pick up our ducklings. Oops I don't think I was supposed to say that yet. Oh well, we're getting ducklings. Quick pit stop at home so that I can change Anna's diaper because it smells. <laughs> and so I can call about our lawnmower because they need to come out and fix it because we have lots to mow. So she's sleepy, but she's happy. She doesn't know we're gonna go get ducklings, but you're gonna love them. All right, I'm gonna go and look at the serial number on our lawnmower real quick so I can let them know it's broken. Well, I called Lowe's and apparently they're currently experiencing system issues and a call back in an hour. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, before I actually go get ducks, I figured I should sit down and let you know why we're gonna buy ducklings. We had initially thought that we would start the animals on our homestead with chickens. And then I started doing this research for some reason um, about ducks and duck eggs in particular and how duck eggs, they're higher in omega-3s, um, their pH value is different than chicken eggs, so apparently some people who are allergic to chicken eggs can actually eat duck eggs. Um, and they lay for a whole year longer than chickens. All of that sounded really good. There's more um, and we might go into that in a future video, but everything that we were coming across just was getting us excited about ducks. And the fact that we have a pond is just, is just perfect. All of those things influenced our decision to go ahead and purchase ducklings. Unfortunately, we are at the very end of chick days. At, at tractor supply and just at the end of the season, the tail end of the season for chicks and ducklings. So we've been having a hard time finding ducklings. However, I found a store in a nearby town and they have 20 Pekin ducks and that's the variety that we're gonna go with because that's what we are finding. We may not know if they're male or females. We may not get a chance to check. I did do a bunch of research about sexing ducklings, um, so I think I would be able to check and see, but they may not let us do that in the store. We don't know, this is our first time buying ducklings. So if they don't, we're gonna just buy kind of a surplus and then hope for more females, which are called ducks, than males, which are called drakes. Oh. And if we end up getting males, I think that we're gonna try our hand at culling them and eating them. So we'll let you know as we go along, but right for right now, I'm gonna get ready to go and we're gonna go and get our ducklings. Let's go start our homestead. Oh no, she just wants to 
Someone is super <laughs> upset that she doesn't get to look at the ducks anymore right, right now. Oh, Anna. We're home with our ducklings. And Anna is so excited about them. Yeah. <laughs> she just keeps saying hi. Hi, ducklings. Hi. <laughs> Let's get them inside. So this Rubbermaid tote is what I'm gonna use as the brooder. I just sprayed it down with some natural disinfectant cleaner that I have, and I'm gonna wipe it down, then I'm gonna put some wood chips in it and set up the heating lamp. This is what the brooder box looks like right now. I haven't plugged in the heat lamp yet. Um, I'm gonna do that and start sticking the ducks in there. I might, I might have to pay attention to my baby first. I think she's run out of food. <laughs> All right, it's time to open the boxes and see the ducks. Poor babies, it's okay. It's okay. Hi. Oh, that's okay. Oh, they're so cute. So I'm starting them out with water because ducks need water to clean their bills before they eat. They need to be able to submerge their whole bill into the water. It's different from chickens where you can give them a, um, one of those little like hamster feeders is, or hamster waters is what I think of them as. Hopefully they'll kind of figure out where the water is. I think they are. No, it's not the glass. What do you think, Charlotte? We bought this um, Purina non-medicated feed for them. I'm gonna feed them for the first time at home. This size container just didn't end up working out because it was too small on the bottom. So we doubled the size and we got one that had straighter sides. And so the bottom is much bigger and this is so much better. So now they have like one side of it that's nice and warm and the water feeder fits in there perfectly and they seem very happy. 